Hello everyone, welcome back to Radiology Med Easy, your all-time favorite YouTube channel. Let's see today's case. Hi, welcome back everyone. This is case number 20 in abdominal radiology. Today our patient is a neonate present with upper abdominal distension and bilious vomiting. So this is the anteroposterior radiograph of the abdomen in the skated image of patient actually of this patient. So here you can see large air lucencies. Yeah, it's a one large air lucency. It's another one. It's another one. So three large air lucencies in the abdomen. You call it triple bubble appearance. Triple bubble. Triple bubble sign and so actually this bubble represents the stomach here that's the stomach this is the duodenum this is the dj flexure and this is the dilated per jejuna so probably there's a proximal jejunal obstruction you don't see distal bowel loops distal bowel loops are collapsed probably ileal and large bowel loops are collapsed and uh, you don't see any free abdominal layer, no football signs, no gas under the diaphragms, no air within the wall of the bowel or the stomach, so no intramural layer, no porta venous gas. You don't see any obvious bone pathology in this one. And diaphragms are intact, no diaphragmatic hernia. So in this case, our diagnosis is jejunal atresia. Jejunal atresia is the diagnosis. That means luminal obstruction of the jejunum, which is a congenital abnormality. So failure to recanalize proximal jejunum. So other differential diagnosis are malrotation leading to midgut volvulus. With gut volvulus, so another one differential diagnosis. Other one is ileal atresia. And also, we have to think about uh, jejunal stenosis. Jejunal stenosis from external compression, like uh, the mass compressing the jejunum. Uh, like uh, teratomas, the neuroblastomas, rhabdomyosarcomas, those can be seen in children. So, the next investigation of this patient is ultrasound abdomen to find out any free fluid within the abdomen and other abnormalities related to this patient if, if it's a syndromic patient and upper GI contrast study is the go standard investigations for this patient and uh, so that concludes case number 20 in abdominal radiology please subscribe our youtube channel then you'll get notifications of our new videos and also you can comment on our videos thank you everyone thanks for watching please like and subscribe for more videos like this